In this video, we are going to discuss about Cisco three layer model. So what is a Cisco three layer model and how it is developed and for what case it is developed for. You know, in a large organization, we common see a very complex or complicated networks which includes different locations, different devices and different routers and switches are used in it. So it is very cumbersome to manage or to modify the network which is available because a new technology prevails out in that in the market then a network should be into the advanced technology also. So you can see making changes to complex network is often very difficult here. So that is the reason Cisco has introduced this three layer model. So what are the three layers? It is the core layer, distribution layer and the access layer. So coming to the core layer, what is a core layer? A core layer is the backbone for internet network and it is very simple but most critical in the phase. So you can see the whole sole function is to transport large amount or large chunks of data into the networks or throughout the network. So we should look after this should not happen in the uh, first phase that is a core phase which is anything that can slow down the network that is for example you can take IP filtering or you can take packet filtering we can take inter VLAN routing etc should not happen in the core layer and direct user connections are not uh, recommended in the core layer. Coming to direct server connections, we cannot directly connect to the server, we should connect in an in, in alternate or a two step way to into the servers. Coming to complex service policies and here the complex service policies are used but they are limited to some extent. So you can also see designing this core, you should keep some very important points in the mind before doing that. That is routing protocols should have low convergence time and also network access layer technologies should be fast with low latency. So what is should be fast with low latency means that when you try to connect to one of the layers or connect to one of the uh, protocols it should be in the less time so that you should not have a lag time in between. Coming to redundancy should be built in this, in this layer that means you should have two alternate connections when one go down the other one works here. So this is all about the core layer. So coming to the next layer which is the distribution layer. This, this layer acts as an interface between core and access layers and this is also very important because the primary function of the distribution layer is to provide routing, filtering and also WAN access to determine how the data is transferred in the form of packets and can access the core if needed here. And also the other function is path determination is the most important point here because it will choose the best path in a short time and also access request can be completed in the prescribed time. Routing between subnets and VLANs and route information which is passed through the routing protocols plays a key important role here. Implementation of security policies including firewalls, IP security, packet filtering etc are also performed in this layer and also breaking domains, broadcast domains are also very important function in the distribution layer. So the next layer is the access layer. So here about the access layer, it is the edge of the network where a variety wide of connections you can see about the PCs, the network devices, printers and also iPads connect to the network that means here the accessing of the network is possible through this layer and access control and policies in addition is what already exist but new technologies also come into picture here. So dynamic configuration mechanisms that means dynamically automatic configuration mechanisms between the devices and the network happens here. Breaking collision domains as we said breaking collision domains using switches are also used here as a function. Ethernet switching and static routing. So Ethernet switching using switches and also using the static routing also this access layer provides access to PCs, printers, iPads and also to other devices which are in the network. You can take a best example of a print server or a shared printer where you connect through Wi-Fi to that printer and access it and gives printouts so that you access that through WLAN here. So these are all about the three layers of the Cisco layer three layer model.